a classic Planet X Jack Flash. Probably one of the strongest, stiffest frames you'll ever get. She, uh, she did it all, really. I remember racing a full season of downhill with a bent shock on that. Didn't really get much travel out of it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, teach to appreciate what you have now, I guess. You know, I think in Ireland in general, people appreciate guys that go out and just put the head down and work hard. And you know, if you get a result out of it, then they'll take your hat off to you and say, yeah, good man, good job. And, and that's Greg, just goes about his business, works damn hard and, and uh, yeah, gets a couple of results out of it. You know, he's won three, uh, three rounds of the World Enduro Series. All those little steps you can be very proud of, you know, the first contract, the first stage win, then the first win, and then to finish top three in the world. He's come from nothing and he's had to work very hard for everything that he has. Uh, you don't get anything for nothing in this life. She was the first woman in Ireland to go 100 mile an hour on a motorbike. And she was a granny at the time. She was a 100 mile an hour granny. It's, it's in the family. You won't find anybody in the family that hasn't got some sort of connection to bikes. And I don't know, it's in the blood. The Callahans are kind of, you know, famed in Ireland for being motorcycle riders, especially trials. We have a big history in that from my grandparents to, uh, you know, all my uncles and aunties and my dad. My parents opened up a motorcycle shop uh, before we were all born. And even going back further than that, uh, my mother's parents were heavily involved in motorcycle sport. So I grew up, you know, straight away just watching bikes and watching my dad compete. Uh, my dad competed in motorcycle enduros. So I was always into, you know, being in the forest while he'd be racing. I'd be riding around on my bicycle getting filthy and crashing all over the place. <laughs> and then I think when I was four, I got my first motorbike. And then, uh, yeah, when I was eight, I started competing in motorcycle trials. And uh, yeah, it's just been, any two wheels I get my hands on really, I've just ridden my whole life really. When I did compete in trials, I was winning, but that was more just because it wasn't that competitive a sport, to be honest, for my age group. You know, when I started racing mountain bikes, I was winning at a junior level in Ireland, but I was never anything special internationally. Like when I started racing internationally, I was pretty much a nobody, um, especially in downhill World Cups. It was just kind of, when I switched to Enduro, I saw that I could do pretty well with pretty less preparation. So uh, that kind of, you know, gave me a bit of inspiration to think like, right, if I actually knuckle down at this, I could, I could make something of it. Yeah, I think at the time that would have been seen as, you know, almost a crazy move. Especially in Ireland at the time, the done thing was to, you know, you go to school, you maybe go on to college, and that was the safe route to go. Uh, but for Greg, he, he turned right and, and went, for, went for mountain bikes. He probably always would have made it work out in, in, in some way. I mean, that's what he wanted to do. He got a ride with a team in, in Northern Ireland. They gave him some support, and he went on as a privateer to finish 16th in the World Series, which you know, for the support he had and the experience he had at that stage was quite a result and I'd say that was probably the time when we said maybe there's something here. Number 16, so that was my number... Uh, which year was it my number? A few years ago. <laughs> that was number 16, because it was 16th in the series. So I went, I think my series rankings were 32nd, 16th, 10th, 7th, and 3rd last year. So, try to keep improving that. I think growing up around me when he was, because uh, when I was rating Enduro at a decent level, he was, uh, he was at all the events and he would have been helping me and he would have seen how I approached it and, and then I think he developed a bit of a style from there and got an understanding of how important it was to prepare, to plan everything in advance and be fit enough to compete and I think that gave him a little edge when he went into in mountain bike and enduro, uh, downhill and enduro, so that he had already had that little bit of experience behind him, even though he was only young, but he was still around it, so he was just brought up with that. But he has great determination and drive, and uh, it's an incredible story to where he's come from, to where he's got to on his own. So it's it's uh, fantastic, you know. Yeah, that was one of my first big wins a few years ago, Fox Hunt. Uh, so G. Aston started at the back. He's the fox, and he's to try to get to the front. And he got to the front pretty quick that year, I'd crashed. And two of us overtook each other like three or four times, going back and forward. And managed to beat him in a sprint to the finish for the win. Um, which was pretty sick, like I was just working in a bike shop at the time. and Yeah, it was just some random guy and he was a world champ. So that was pretty cool to, to win that one. I think to be an easy best racer, to be a successful one anyway, it needs to be a full-time job. Like I train six days a week, usually twice a day. And you need to be fully focused, you need to be on it because 
the level's so high and it's just getting higher and higher all the time so you can't really you can't take your foot off the gas or you'll just you'll just be left behind really. When we had the race here, the Irish EWS, like that was all the pressure you could ever imagine on me in those in those races. And uh, to be honest, I just try to see it as positive energy. Like the support I have from home is brilliant, and when I come home, I see that. Like when I'm riding my local trails, I can see this, just how people want me to do well, and that's all it is. You know, they're not going to be angry if I don't do well. They just want me to do well, and it's just positive energy trying to push me to be better. And I just I just try to use it in that way. Really, and when it does go well, you know, there's there's a whole country here celebrating with me which is, uh, yeah, it's brilliant and I can see like the joy it really does bring to people, which is really cool, like a lot of people are genuinely happy to see it and uh, that's, a, that's a pretty special thing, I think. And, you know, we are a small country and we've been, you know, in the past it's been viewed as somewhere that's not, you know, doesn't produce world-class mountain bikers, so it's quite cool to come from a place like that and make it work and, uh, yeah, fight with the best.